From WKYC Studios, this is 3 News at 6 with Russ Mitchell and Christy Paul. And we begin with breaking news tonight. It is official. Ohio Senator J.D. Vance is former President Donald Trump's running mate. All this less than 48 hours after the assassination attempt on the former president's life. Today, the stakes could not be higher as Ohio is once again in the national political spotlight here. Our live team coverage begins with Kaitor K in Butler, Pennsylvania. He's at the scene of the Trump rally shooting on Saturday. Monica Robbins is with us. She has a look at this, how secure such an event like the RNC will be, particularly after that shooting. But first, Lena Lai has a deep dive into Ohio Senator J.D. Vance. Let's take a look at this new video showing Vance meeting and greeting delegates on the floor of the convention. I believe this is the Ohio delegation less than an hour ago. Here's Lena's report on his journey to today. There's never been a vice president from Ohio. Oh, if my math is correct, this hasn't happened for, what, about 80 years. So we're, we're very excited about it. And it's something that hasn't happened in 80 years, a vice presidential candidate from the state of Ohio. Now, Senator J.D. Vance rockets to the national spotlight as former President Trump's running mate. Very well spoken. Uh, you know, he's he's quite smart. University of Akron political science professor Dave Cohen says Vance brings certain strengths to the ticket. He is a very good Trump translator. Um, he can take uh, Trump's uh, chaotic uh, rhetoric and messaging and he can kind of uh, uh, shape it uh, and distill it uh, and then make it into a more comprehensible message that the American public finds more palatable. We've seen Vance make a 180 degree turn from a fierce critic of Mr. Trump in 2016 to a bulldog surrogate of the former president who then endorsed Vance for the Ohio Senate in 2022. Now, with Vance potentially becoming the first vice president from Ohio. Do you have a choice for who you might replace him with? No, I've learned to take one election at a time. Oh, come on. You've got to have a list. You've got to be prepared. We're, look, we always think about things like this, but uh, and particularly in the last few days. But look, we have to win an election and uh, we got, we're going to do that. So here's how it works if there is a vacancy. According to Ohio law, Governor DeWine has the power to appoint a temporary replacement until a special election can be held, which would be as early as 2026. Russ. All right. Lead a lie in the newsroom. Thank you.